Hi, I'm Björn Schuller. I'm a reader or associate professor in machine learning at Imperial College London. So what humans are great at at this moment is particularly context integration and uh, lending the overall understanding of the world and what's going on in making an analysis of a situation. So with the machines, natural language understanding, for example, we're not quite there yet. So when they read research papers, they're just lacking the context and sometimes don't get the gist of, let's say, irony, sarcasm or other nuances which are in between the lines. However, these gaps are slowly becoming um, less of a gap, let's say, because emotional intelligence is more and more coming to the fore. And at the same time, the machines can exploit big, big data and exploit all sorts of um, knowledge databases that a human does not have the capacity to store. So when we think of a machine and a human, the machine can browse, let's say, all of Wikipedia or likes and therefore will have quite an advantage in exploiting more information once it's able to exploit it in useful ways. But when it's merely coming to conversational skills and let's say creativity skills um, that I've just been talking about in creating new paintings, new poems, creating new solutions, um, there's probably not so much headroom for the humans anymore these days. And the machines indeed might be able to replace a lot of what we do these days in these domains. That might include, by the way, us, um, the researchers and professors, because AI can also find new research topics itself, do them quite thoroughly and yet publish about those. So could AI one day write novels? I'm pretty sure it can because it's already starting to uh, invent jokes, um, invent little poems. So once um, it's having all the understanding and well coupled with the ability to also synthesize, and in fact it does already synthesize text or other things to better learn about them, just like we, when we learn about language, start not only to listen but also to babble a little bit, it can also write uh, in appealing ways and come up with plots and other things that will be quite intriguing. And then again, it has a big advantage over the human author. It can be very um, good at keeping track of the characters it's using in its fiction. So it can keep perfect track of all the details, of all potential flaws that wouldn't find uh, their way easily into a machine-written story because the story can be checked um, at all levels by the machine perfectly well. But of course, there is still some time for us. <laughs> So we can all relax and chill a bit because there's an at least decade or two um, until the machines are as good as we are in interpreting texts and rewriting texts and also make them feel enjoyable, make them feel fun to read and yet be informative.